What's up everybody? Furniture shopping with my sister. Say hi, this is Monica. Hi. <laughs> That's my sister guys. So I needed to bring a female to help me get uh, a female opinion on what to put in my new place. You know how guys are, we just, as long as we got a refrigerator and a TV and a couch, that's pretty much all we think of. But uh, she's gonna help me accessorize, make sure that I don't make my apartment look like a, I don't know, like a frat boy's man cave or something. I want it to be inviting, I want it to have character. And my sister has lived all over the world, so she has, I don't know, how do you, what that mean? Cultured. <laughs> yeah, she's cultured, she has great taste. Her and I have, we like the same things. We like like fancy and things with character and, and so yeah, she's gonna help me out guys. So we, that's what today's filled with, is furniture shopping. Um, I already got a couch picked out. I still have to buy a rug, a bed, and everything actually. So yeah, that's what's on the agenda today guys. Okay guys, this is the mirror. Check it out. It's got wood, and I have exposed brick in my place, so I feel like that wood's gonna go good against the brick. And it also has metal right here, so you can kind of make anything go with it. And then I feel like it's it's masculine, and I'm a guy, so that's good. But it doesn't look too masculine, right? It just looks like a cool mirror. So I think this is the one, this is the winner. This is in West Elm, by the way. Cool shop. So I had to take a quick break guys. I was starving. I hadn't eaten anything all day other than one packet of oatmeal and a Quest bar. So I have a egg white turkey from Starbucks. And my sister got what is that? Spinach turnover. Spinach spinach turnover. I have never had that guys. But it looks it looks really good, but I don't know about the macros, so I didn't order it. But yeah, I got two of these. So I'm eat this really quickly and then on to the next side. Quick update guys, uh, we came to Home Goods because I heard there was good rugs here and they didn't have anything. I didn't, I didn't like any of the rugs here. They had a very poor selection. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go to another Home Goods, but it's already kind of late in the day. It's about to be 5 p.m. and I'm supposed to go meet with my family, so that's where we're gonna head now. I still have tomorrow. I'm trying to take advantage of the 4th of July sales. Um, but tomorrow is the actual 4th, so I know I have to go buy a TV and a bed. And those two places uh, I'm going tomorrow. So I got a mirror, I got a couch, and the rug is what's left. And I still need some bar stools and stuff like that. And also it's like stuff to eat with. I just need everything. But <laughs> I got a mirror today. <laughs> I got a mirror and, and a couch taken care of. So yeah, so much for shopping. So I'm done training my morning clients. Well, the first part of my morning, I got an hour and a half break in between clients. So I decided to take this opportunity to work out legs. So that's what I'm doing. What's up guys? I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. I apologize. I have been absent from YouTube for over a week now. I think it's been like 10 days, not quite sure. But I promise you guys, it has been a crazy hectic 10 days for me. As a lot of you already know from watching Christian's channel and from watching Snapchat from the Alphalete team members, I have been relocating to my new place this week and that is my excuse for not uploading uh, this past week. Uh, it's been a crazy week for me guys, just so much to get done getting into my new place. I swear there are not enough hours in a day at times. Um, if I'm not training clients, if I'm not working out, if I'm not working with an online client, uh, the rest of my time was taken with trying to get things ready for my new place but I'm happy I'm excited I will give you guys a, an apartment tour video very soon I'm just waiting to get the last few pieces of furniture because right now my apartment looks a little incomplete it looks a little empty uh, I still need to get a table need to get chairs to sit on but I do got the essentials guys I got a TV I got a bed I got a mattress I got a couch and I got cooking utensils so I can eat, I can watch TV, and I can sleep. So I got what I need, but I still need a few more pieces. So I'm just gonna wait until I get those before I give you like a complete apartment tour because a lot of you have been asking for that. So stay tuned for that, that's coming soon. Uh, but right now you guys are watching a light leg workout that I did. I say light leg workout because you see as I'm doing now, I'm doing lunges without weight. 
on this day my heavy heavy leg day is sunday so on this day i was just doing a lot of body weight and if i was uh using resistance like weight training it was with really light weight and i was doing a lot of reps so that's what you're watching right now but i want you guys to stay tuned till the end of this video i'm going to talk about peak week and what i think about it and give you some advice on what to expect from peak week from a good coach so uh, stay tuned for that guys but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the this commentary I appreciate you guys sticking with me thanks for being patient I'm sorry that it took me so long I promise that I'm already working on my next video so you won't have to wait over a week for it to come up and it'll be up very very soon so alright guys enjoy the rest of this video I love you all thanks for the support and I'll talk to you on the next one About 35, 35 minutes into the workout. Feeling good, guys. Got that endorphin rush, you know? It's just like, ah, feel really good. Gonna finish up this workout. Keeping it simple, shitload of reps, and uh, just working hard, you know? Keeping my heart rate up. And I'm probably gonna wind up doing hit this morning, uh, but not right after this workout. I gotta cool down and then didn't do a hit workout so I can get my cardio out the way. Cardio for the week, guys. I'm doing one 20 minute mid session, medium intensity, steady state, and then a 15 to 20 minute hit session. So, two sessions per week is what I'm going with. I'm steadily dropping weight. That's because, you know, I'm following macros, man. Cardio doesn't really make the big difference. The big difference comes from your nutrition. So, cardio for me is a, to a minimal. It's my nutrition, guys. I'm dropping weight, so I'm not even going to mess with my cardio. It's just going to stay those two sessions per week. So, anyways, let me get back to the workout. So, I'm getting ready to do hit. Hit session, tasting my own medicine. I push this sled down and back seven times. And then we're gonna do the run up, run down, and rope slams. I'll show you that, guys that when I do it. But I put Danae and Ashley to this workout last week and now she's throwing it back on my ass. But I'm a man up, I'm fit to do my work. Here we go. Slams, go. Hit 33. So yeah, 33. Done. So I did that shit. I did my own workout. I ain't scared, but I'm hurting. I'm hurting right now. It's all good though. We're gonna look good in LA. This is the beginning of week four cut and I, I got three more weeks left so we're gonna see guys i'm hurting bad right now though uh, I, I might look like i'm cool right now but i'm not i'm crying on the inside all right i'll see you guys at lunch made it back to the house guys getting ready to make myself some lunch i got some ground turkey egg whites gonna make a big wrap like i've showed you guys before a lot of protein, a lot of food. After that, I got some work to do on my computer, on my laptop. I'm still working on my website, trying to get it up as soon as possible so I can start talking about it more. And uh, the thing is just I really want to have quality content on the website. I want you guys to have a lot of options when you go there. Um, different, different packages that I want to offer my clients online. So I'll talk more about it as it gets closer. And it's almost done, so got work to do though but I got work to do so all right guys I'm fixing to eat I'm starving I did that hit workout and it murdered me but uh, it's good that's what you do when you want results you up that intensity so yeah getting ready to eat guys talk to you soon all right guys check out Charlotte look at that damn that boy is looking right so Charlotte came to me when he was 23 days out and he said Frank I want to be eight days out so I said, done, we got it. It's because we handled this prep the right way. 18 week prep, the dude was ready early. 
like we planned. And because we, we were slow and steady with his nutrition, that dude stayed on his program the whole way. He never messed up, never went astray, just, just, just did everything I asked of him. Because of that, he's able to tweak things and be ready early if he wanted to. So that's, that, that's the, the benefits, guys, from following your nutrition, yeah. from being consistent. It's like the this. Diet is not, the diet is 85% of it. Your coach is definitely important, important role in it. And uh, if you get a coach that knows what he's talking about, if he knows his shit, the end result can be good. Um, I've been with Frank for five years, man. It's been close to five years, four to five years. And, four uh, years. Yeah, four years. And every single competition I've done, he's led me in the right, right path. I've, I've placed top five in all my shows because of him. And yeah. I don't really see a reason to go anywhere else as far as nutrition and dieting and training. So he knows his shit. And obviously, uh, it's gotten me where I am today, and I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep him around, man. He's my trainer, not only my trainer, but my friend. Dude, just never look back. Never look back. Check him out now. Damn, it's crazy. Seven so, yeah. days. Seven days, guys. I'm gonna go on stage and kill that shit. What's good, everybody? Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Hope you guys are having a great day. Shout out to my boy Shali. Dude looks amazing. I can't wait for the day of his show so he can go on stage and just kill it. Uh, he's worked really hard throughout this prep and he looks good and he deserves to have a good time on the day of the show. Um, I also have uh, two other clients that are competing on the same day at the same show, two bikini clients, and I'm just as excited for them as well because they've worked really hard throughout their prep and they've made great changes and I just I really want them to have a great experience on the day of the show. Having said all that guys, I wanted to talk to you really quickly about a topic that I hear a lot about when when competitors are getting ready to go on stage or when coaches have clients that are getting ready to go on stage and the topic is peak week okay first off let me go on record by saying I don't like that it's called peak week I hate that it's called that I know that's what we we all call it guys I know there's not another name for it but I hate that it's called peak week, okay? And the reason I hate that it's called peak week is because it makes you think that throughout that week, you're going to make these drastic changes to your body and you're gonna look 10 times better than the previous week. And that's just not the case, guys. If there's a coach out there telling you, uh, you know, once you go through peak week, you're gonna look so much better than the week before. You're gonna look great on the day of the show because of the peak week. That's not, no, that's, that's not true, guys. It's not true, okay? Um, realistically speaking, you will know what you're gonna look like on the day of the show about two weeks out. That's just what it is, guys. You're not gonna lose four and 5% body fat the last week of your prep. It's not gonna happen. So if you're thinking that's gonna happen, sorry. And you're not gonna look four or 5% leaner if you're gonna drop water or cut carbs or do some kind of crazy diuretic or whatever, you're not gonna look four or five percent leaner on the day of the show because of whatever you're going to do during that last week. It's not gonna happen. Um, it takes time to lose body fat, guys. I know there are, there are coaches out there that have their clients take diuretics or they do some crazy stuff with their sodium levels. And uh, you know, that's cool and all, but it just doesn't work. The, the, the main objective of a prep is to lose body fat. You wanna go on stage being as lean as possible while keeping every ounce of muscle. That's what the main objective throughout a prep is. And you just can't do that in a week. It takes weeks, several weeks, 15, 20 weeks to get that done. So the last seven days or the last 10 days, it's just, it's just not possible. So I just want to say that. I want to say that. Dude, I get frustrated because I hear a lot of people and I'm just like, God, it just hurts me. It hurts me to hear that stuff. People like that, that are training with other coaches or whatever. And they say, yeah, you know, my coach said I mean, during peak week, that's, that's when I'm really going to make the changes. Peak week's going to get it done. Nah, it's not going to get it done. Okay. Um, it's just not going to happen. So stop thinking that. Stop believing that guys. Um, my clients, you guys know, I always, I always say this. I always say this. I've said it in my past videos. I tell my clients this in their emails, my online clients, my one-on-one my -on -one clients that I train in person. I have this saying, it's nothing good happens fast in fitness. Nothing good happens fast. If something happens overnight or in seven days, it's probably not good for you. 
So nothing good happens fast. Only bad things happen fast to your body. Everything is gradual. It's a gradual process. And if you handle your prep the right way, then you're just making minor tweaks and minor changes on that last week in order to make sure you look your absolute best on the day of the show, to make sure that you go on stage looking tighter or fuller. But you're not gonna drastically change how you look in a week, it's just not gonna happen. Even my, my boy Christian, Christian, you guys know, he looks amazing, right? The dude's been looking, he's been ready. He's been ready for about three weeks now. He's looked awesome, he looks great. Even he came to me and he's like, yo man, you know, I, I've been with him his whole prep. I've been living here the whole time he's been prepping. Um, I pretty much know all his information on what he's been doing to get where he's at today. So he came to me and he's like, look man, you got all my info, just help me out. Cause he doesn't want to overthink it. Cause a lot of times people overthink it and they kind of like, they messed something up. And all I did was make some minor tweaks and changes, but for the most part, we're kind of keeping him the same because he looks amazing. If it's not broke, don't fix it. So that's kind of, that's basically what we're doing with him. Uh, same thing with Shaw, you guys. Same thing with all my clients. We're not making drastic changes to their, to how much they eat or how much water they're taking in and all that stuff. It's just not because they're already lean because they handled their prep the right way. They stuck with it. Yeah, guys, I know I'm rambling. I'm going crazy right now. It's just because I get really frustrated because I just, I always hear that stuff, peak week, peak week, peak week. We should give it another name. We should say final week. It's the final week of prep. You know, the last week or the countdown to the day of the show. <laughs> okay, guys, I know I'm rambling on. I'm going to stop now, but I hope you guys get the general idea of what I'm saying, okay? Follow your nutrition. Uh, be consistent throughout your prep. Make gradual changes to your, your food intake and stay consistent and you'll get results. And if you don't like the way you look on the day of the show, then you, you just didn't lose enough body fat throughout your prep. That's just what it is, okay? Go back to the drawing board work harder, find out what you need to change in your nutrition to look better the next go round. That's all there is to it. Don't believe that you can make crazy changes in seven days. And if there is something that you're doing to make crazy changes within seven days, it's probably not good for you. So that's the general idea of this whole rant that I'm going on right now. I'm gonna stop now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. As always, please click the like button. It really helps my channel out. And I'll see you guys on the next video.